everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning February 15th, 2021. Have you ever had one of those days? <laughs> I was just getting ready to film, and I hurt myself. I, tri <laughs> I tripped over this table that wasn't even in the way, like it was up against the wall. I'm like, how did I even do that? But I ended up flying into a door with my wrist. It's fine, it's not broken, but I do have a bruise that looks like the outline of the door right on my wrist. I felt really queasy, so I had to ice my wrist and lie down for a little bit, and here I am. Okay, so <laughs> not in the whole history of Angel Souls have I ever missed a weekly video, and I'm not gonna start now. So we are going to do this. It's gonna get up a little bit late, but it's fine. Better late than never, right? So let's get into the message for this week. This is about awakening to a true power. This is our own power, reclaiming this power and understanding the overlay of a story, this grid of a story that has been laid upon us and how in perceived power, you know, it's contingent upon people being brainwashed and conditioned for it to be effective. And then real power is divine power. It is the organic power that pulses through us, if you want to see it that way. All right. So waking up to this. So this whole week, for a lot of us as individuals, you might go, why am I so worried about being five minutes late to work when the roads are bad? Because this person who has perceived power over me is going to, you know, scream at me for being five minutes late like why do i need to be afraid of that and we did kind of touch upon the financial system as well and how that is a thought form that is put over us to put us in fear so there's going to be more of this and really if we're going to be doing any sort of practice this week it would be uh please don't be egotistical about this it's not a thing of oh that's right i'm powerful and i could do this and i can do that i've seen lots of spiritual people who um they understand what divine power is. And sometimes some people know that that, um, again, that electromagnetic field, the electricity that's around us, you know, they know how to kind of harness that and harness energy and redirect it. But sometimes with not the best intentions, right? And so that's not what we're talking about, <laughs> right? We're not talking about, you know what, I'm going to get you. It's not revenge. But rather I can unplug from being intimidated. I can unplug from this story over here. I had gotten to a point in the corporate world where, um, and I, I guess I can share this here because it's so far in the past, but m you know, one of my last experiences with the corporate world was um, being told that I was going to have to sit on the floor outside, I swear to you, have to sit on the floor outside of a conference room until my boss was ready for me. And that meant maybe sitting there all day as if I were a dog waiting for the master to come and call me. I finally regained my power <laughs> and shortly thereafter put in my notice and got out of there. And, uh, you know, but for the longest time, even though there had been so many like abusive moments where I should have left I should have gone. I was under the spell of this perceived power and this, you know, grid of a story, this narrative of you're lucky to have a job. You're lucky to work here. Do you know how many people want to line up and get on in here? And I finally got to a place of realizing that that was all an illusion, that there wasn't that much great about my experience there and it was time to go. So I offer this as an example where we can, you know, look at other areas of our lives and ask ourselves, okay, what, what's the pressure story here? What makes me uneasy? And start to work through that. Really driving home the point that this is not an egotistical reclaim of power, but a power through peace, right? Finding your inner peace, finding your inner harmony. One of the things I did right away besides ice up my wrist was I put on some higher frequency music <laughs> and I did a little meditation and I had to get grounded because I'm working on my own stuff right now. And I'm going through that too. I didn't realize it, but I'm kind of going through that where I'm regaining my power. And there were some memories coming up for me. 
and I felt myself getting disconnected from the truth of who I really am and falling back into their definition, another definition of me. And that's another example. How, how often do people pretend to know you, but really they just made up a whole vision of you and expect you to fall in with that? Or people have perceived power over you because maybe they think, well, I'm above you in position or, you know, I'm your spouse. So, you know, I have control over you. Some people are in those dynamics, you know, and so they constantly have to check with that person to make sure that it's okay to make a choice in their life. You feel me? So we're starting to just break out of that for some of us. Um, and we can help that along by just remaining aligned and centered. And if you get knocked off course, <laughs> I literally went flying across the room. I'm a hefty girl and I didn't realize I could go flying like that, but I did. Um, <laughs> if you start to experience where you feel like you're in a wobble or you feel like someone is pulling you off course or just not being truthful with you or whatever, okay, whatever the case is, if you feel like you're being pulled into uh, a delusion, for example, take a moment, step back remember who you are, get grounded, aligned, okay? And pay attention to this. This is gonna be a great time to be doing uh, journaling, okay? Now I am gonna be doing an update video, a refresh video, I'll film it right after this one, but a refresh video on angel signs. If you are just beginning your awakening, please check out my video on angel signs where we go into angel numbers. And that's a great place to start. But I think for this video, we're going to go a little bit further because we are changing in frequency. And so we still are getting number codes. And yes, people are still seeing 1111 and, and all of that. But the way we perceive it and how we take it in, there's a big message around that. So I'm going to make a whole video around that sort of thing. And I will mention here before we get onto the cards, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, we go deep into your soul's contract. So you can ask whatever question you want. Don't be afraid to do that. But just be prepared for that to get put on hold for a second. For us to go really deep, we're going to look at your soul's contract. What lessons you're supposed to be learning right now. What energy uh, you can embrace to help you along with the surface level things that are coming up for you. All right. And of course, I have courses, meditations, extra readings over at gumroad.com slash angel souls and a very special thank you to all of my patreon supporters if you would like to support me on patreon all that information is down below let's get on to the cards all right so let's see what we have going on for this week uh, the card that flew out of the deck is your dreams need a practical plan full moon in taurus so again remaining grounded and um you know, it's, it's great to dream big. It's great to want to create beautiful things or whatever your thing is, but we need to bring it in. This is about manifesting, okay? And when we manifest, I know I made the mistake. <laughs> I think I've used this example before where I tried to manifest love and I did that weird like manifestation. It was years ago where it was like very surface level. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that person showed up but was not single. Um, and uh, I'm still paying the price for that one. <laughs> Psychologically still paying the price for what showed up. Okay. And, you know, so just be very, very careful about what you're bringing in and how you are bringing it in. For example, if you are feeling, you know, like financially unstable or what have you, yes, you can tune in and clear the energy around your finances, but then start looking at what you can do from a practicality standpoint. Like for me, I might want to study digital marketing, you know, to get my stuff out there. It's great to make content and to dream and to work on my energy, but what's the practicality behind it? What's the action I'm going to take? So when we are guided to help ourselves in some way, <laughs> right, make sure you are following that instinct. Okay. So there is that. All right. Next card. Nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. Some of us are heading down a path that won't be helpful to us. And some of us are also, you, well, let's just put it this way. You just can't continue on in the way that you have. It is time to grow. It is time to change. If you have made mistakes in the past, make amends. Take a different approach. It's not 
going to work if you keep trying to be who you once were. Yes, we are all in a space where we are being asked to heal, to shift gears, to let go of the old way, <laughs> to come up with something different. Okay, so we have to change course here. Now, for some of you, you might be a little afraid of a situation um, and, and nothing, nothing's going to come of it where it stands now, if that makes sense. So um, let me see if I can feel out. Because I'm seeing like work, like around work and workplace. Oh, I get, okay. All right, some people this week, you're realizing you're kind of in a dead end job or you're realizing that there's that story, that grid narrative overlay thing. I don't know why I said it like that, but <laughs> where you're letting go of that and you're saying, no, this, this is a toxic environment. No, I'm not gonna get treated like this. No, I'm not going on like this. You realize it's time to move on. So just be ready for that. You know, you can get yourself that practical plan, right? <laughs> and have a fresh start, a time for healing. We were just saying that, balsamic moon. This is, I'm, I'm telling you guys, this is really very much a time to make amends with other people. If you need to get something off your chest, this isn't about going to somebody and being like defensive and try to blame. Come to the table, say what you gotta say, and be ready to listen to what the other person has to say as well. This is going to help free the energy. Now, if you feel like you need to talk to somebody, but maybe it's actually not possible to reach out and talk to them, like you just don't feel comfortable, or maybe they're on the other side, okay? You can go into your higher self and, and do a meditation to meet their higher self as well. And you can just see what comes up in that meditation, yes? And see what you can let go of. How may you free your heart? Let things be healed. It's not fun. It's like I said, it's what I, I'm doing right there with you guys. I'm doing it too. And uh, it's hard. You start dreaming about them. More and more memories start to pop up. You do start to feel like you're in a weird frequency and you're getting pulled off course a little bit. I get it. Okay. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon and cancer. So whatever this is, there is a situation that many of us have been trying to plow through or just trying to make the old way work. And we might have hung on to it, for example, a job. Maybe you hang on to a job because you want to provide for your family. And yet you know there's nothing gonna, nothing's going to come of this. And maybe this job is actually holding you back um, in love or it's holding you back from spending time with your family or it's keeping you in a place that you don't want to live in. You know, whatever the case may be, it's time to look at that and know that you and your loved ones are safe and whatever the next practical plan is, <laughs> right, that you put into action, you can really make it work. But this is also, uh, again, finances are really coming up for a lot of people here and I get it. Eh, part of it's that outward breaking open of the story, guys. So keep a watch on it. <laughs> keep a watch on it. But you're going to be all right. You're going to pull through. But it is time to reevaluate what, what is important to you. How do you want to show up in this life? If you were to look back, let's do this. If you were to come up into the, like what we call the higher self, right? So you might want to see it as expanded self, whatever. It's the fifth dimensional self. Coming up into that perspective and looking looking at your soul's contract, looking at the story that you have brought about for yourself, what do you see? Can you feel better about everything that you've been through? Or do you see that, oh my gosh, my entire life, I've devoted, you know, my every action, my every choice to an image. Some of you out there are going to realize what love is. And you're going to realize, wow, I have been, you know, pushing so hard towards this goal or to be seen a certain way or show up in this world in a certain way. And I've completely lost touch with my heart. I've completely lost touch with what love really is. So it's, I'm not going to say it's going to be an easy week mentally and emotionally. It just depends on where you are, okay, and how you process things. But I can definitely guarantee it can be beautiful. It can be a nice release for you. It could take a huge weight off your shoulders. But yeah, you're going to have to look at some things. Okay? We all are. Okay. Oh, oh. We'll take it. We're going to take two this week. Oh, it's brown. 
<laughs> okay, establish boundaries, the number is 12. The reason why I'm laughing is because, first of all, I almost dropped the whole deck. You know, there's that. I'm having a good day, I'm telling you. But it's time for a fresh start. What do I have on my face? <laughs> Something's on my face. What is it? Something is still on my face. What in the world? Anyway, it's, it's time for a fresh start and you can only do that by starting over. So here's the thing. If you have gotten into a situation where you, you've had a lot of interference, whether that, <laughs> can, can I still use more examples from the career here? Um, I actually got pushed into a job I didn't want one time because the temp agency uh, just wanted to fill the job and said, you either take it or we don't help you anymore. And so I had to take it. And I ended up going down a road I didn't want to go down, right? So when we release that, we set those boundaries. We, we say, you know what? You're not going to intimidate me. You know what? No, I'm not going to sit outside the conference room on the floor like your little pet until you decide you need me. Um, I'm going to get back in touch with who I am and I'm going to have that fresh start. This is a sacred time, guys. It's a reclaiming, yes, or a reclaiming of who we are. So... Yeah, so some of you, oh boy. So you have people coming back around maybe who are trying to make amends, but they still come around with their perceived power. I'm gonna take control over this situation. I'm gonna, and you establish those boundaries. Remember, you don't have to sit there for that conversation. If somebody just wants to come back and blame you for everything, no. If they wanna come back and take accountability and you know have an open discussion, that's a whole other thing. Here's our other card. <laughs> nice. So we have brilliance. Discover your sparkle. The number is 26. How beautiful is that? This is where we're headed. So we need some practicality here. It may, like I said, it may not be easy, <laughs> but we are going to get there and you can discover your authentic self. And what's really beautiful about that is in that energy, we are going to find that things we're, we're in a better flow and that's what we're being called to do to wake up, to expand our consciousness, to open our hearts. Look at how much it has been sort of damaged. It's almost like a damaged uh, perception to be sensitive to others, right? You're weak if you're sensitive. That's the narrative out there. Or, you know, again, if you're not ruthless, then you're not going to make it. You're not going to be successful. You feel me? We're in a beautiful place where we can look at that, heal it, come on through nothing's going to come in that situation, right? It can go on like that. But when we start to rediscover ourselves and then start to rediscover one another, we're going to see these beautiful connections happening. And I'm not just talking with um, this sort of idea of the soul tribe. I think that in and of itself in some situations, in some situations, can be very toxic. It can be very toxic because you're kind of just, you know, what about every, what about your whole soul the whole <laughs> everyone's your soul tribe okay and there are so many people who get so conditioned in the thinking that they say that's not true because according to this tradition or that tradition of blah 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 listen all of the all of the you know philosophies and religions and all of that I think there are going to be little things popping open and we're going to maybe even start to have scientific discoveries that start to real, uh, help us realize, oh, that's how you access another dimension. Ah, that thing that this spiritual tradition always tried to explain, this is what's behind that. Here's, you know, connecting the dots, essentially. That might not happen just in this week. <laughs> but <laughs> but we're, we're being asked to take a broader perspective and not just go, oh, these two, three people, that's my soul tribe and that's it. We're gonna start having an even bigger awakening where we find one another again, all of us, all of your family, all right? So we're gonna leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.